what's up everyone it is saturday november the 18th and it is about 407 p.m in the afternoon uh the wind is out of the south southeast uh, kind of pushing towards more of the southeast which is not perfect wind for me but it's not horrible wind for me either it's got it blowing to the right of my setup but it's kind of a partly cloudy day, kind of a hazy look in the sky. And uh, I took the wind's probably blowing 10 to 15. But this is the first time I've been this weekend. I went a few times last weekend. And uh, so I'm excited because this morning on camera, I had a nice deer, a real nice eight point show up. So I'm hoping he'll come back this afternoon. That's the, that's the, what I hope. Of course, you know, what you see on camera and when you see him in person could be totally different. He may not be as good as I think he is when he comes out. If he comes out. But I hope he does because I'd like to see him with my own eyeballs. Try to get a visual and see, see what's going on with that dude. Sorry for my, my nose tickling. My allergies have been horrible as always. For some reason this year, they've really been bad. But, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking west and uh, I got my feeder and then my protein feeder over here just giving little extra goodies to chew on and then I've got a, a little small food plot with uh, oats, wheat, rye, uh, some clover, some uh, some other little, little odds and ends seeds that I'm not real familiar with. <laughs> But I got high hopes because this is the time of the year when things really start getting kick, kicked in. Uh, normally right around Thanksgiving, the rut's full blown around here, especially in this area. Back home, normally around the first of December, you know, first week in December. So there's one big board that's kind of been sporadic. If he comes in, I'll probably shoot him just to get him out of here. get quiet the feeder do to go off here in about 25 minutes and uh hope you guys stay with me and uh, maybe we'll have a good hunt this evening like i said i've got high hopes i may try a little rattling sequence here in a minute with some grunts i already had a doe slip through Big buck, folks. I gotta get quiet. However, his yearling doe that he was with decides to bed down, so maybe my chances aren't over.
Well, the yearling doe that was bedded, she ended up leaving. And uh, so my last hope was maybe if the feeder goes off before they leave too far away, that they it, they will hear it and uh, she'll come back in. And lo and behold, this is what happens. The yearling comes over and then you'll see what happens next. whispering let's start over this deer is wide y'all a nice eight point he's got a broken brow time but it doesn't matter he's a dang good deer i'm so excited y'all i'm shaking shaking for real just like that one year i got my big big 10 he's hanging around before the dang feeder even went off and then now this dude comes out early. Oh man, I'm gonna adjust this camera a little bit. I gotta calm down a little bit before I have a heart attack. Anyway, what an afternoon already. I don't know how wide this deer is. He's probably gotta be at least 19 inches wide, maybe 18. I'm so excited to go look at him, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> Man, I thought my chances were over. Because he came in earlier, didn't like what he smelled or something. I'd put a bunch of dough esters out. And he didn't like it, I guess. And he took off. Went back across on the neighbor's property. But that little doe came back across and he followed her back in. And uh, I was afraid he was going to kick off farther downwind of me and then really be gone for good. So I rushed my shot a little bit. Fix and go down there and get him to take a look. He is wide. Man, I haven't had any new deer showing up. It's been the doe group and the same two little small bucks showing. And finally, finally, this deer comes. I just, lo and behold, this morning, and it works out that way. If I see him in the morning, 
on camera if I'm not even hunting. Like this morning I was at the house, I seen him on camera. If you go back that same afternoon, he worked me before, my biggest deer ever. And this is probably my, could possibly be my second biggest deer ever. I don't know what that broken brow, but man, he is mm, nice. First, I'm gonna check him out and drag him out of there. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would, please take a moment to uh, hit that thumbs up button, maybe drop a comment, and if you haven't done so and you want to see more of my content, please hit that subscribe button and hit tap that notification bell so you'll be notified of future content. Thanks and have a great day.